What's up, Spikes? Welcome to the Goliath Gauntlet. This is going to be, I'm running, I'm <laughs> getting to that, Jan. Shush. Uh, this is the final episode of the Viscerai Gauntlet. Uh, it's very, very exciting, very tense. Uh, do I uh, die to rune chance? We'll see. Probably. Uh, anyway, so uh, once again, uh, just to reiterate, this is the Viscerai Gauntlet. So we are running Viscerai through five different matchups. Uh, just to see, you know, what his uh, strengths are, what his weaknesses are, uh, what feels good in the deck and what doesn't. Uh, it's a very small sample size, but it's mostly just for fun. Maybe a little bit of education along the way. Uh, the real friends are the rune chants that we popped uh, when along we were attacking with Rosetta Thorn. <laughs> but not the other ones? <laughs> yeah, no, that, it just didn't, it Those didn't end up working out, so I scrapped that halfway through the sentence. Tertiary friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so coming to the table to challenge Viserai at on his uh, Rosetta Thorny throne uh, is Reinar. Uh, Reinar is, uh, this is a very fun deck. Uh, so this is... Sorry, what were you going to say? I was going to say that this is OTK Reinar. So maybe this OTK can beat that OTK. Uh, anything is possible. Maybe. Yeah, when you believe. Um, anyway, so this deck is based around uh, just setting up for a really explosive turn with uh, Blood Rush Bellow, where uh, you're able to discard a card to Blood Rush Bellow, and then you can uh, claw claw for 10 damage. And then pop Goliath Gauntlet, plop, pop uh, Heart and Cross Trap to make uh, Swing Big cost zero and attack for 10, which then gets buffed to 12 mm. by uh, the Blood Rush Bellow. Uh, so in total for four, five resources, uh, you do 22 damage. That's pretty good. Uh, which is not bad uh, because you can do it on a relatively scant hand mm. and you can sort of block until you get to that point. Uh, but anyway, to that end, I am playing the Mandible Claws because they interact very nicely with Blood Rush Bellow. I am also playing Arcanine Skullcap, uh, mostly just for the block. Uh, the Arcane Barrier might be relevant um, against the Rosetta Thorn or something. I am going a little bit more aggressive because I feel like this game probably comes down to just who can do it first. Mm -hmm. um, this deck, uh, as far as I'm aware, doesn't really have the staying power to uh, pitch to uh, prevent arcane damage as much as much other decks do. So uh, I'm just gonna rely on the sheer efficiency of my cards mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully get there with that. Uh, so as, to that end, again, uh, I am only running this as my arcane barrier. I have Heart and Cross Trap and Goliath Gauntlet for the purposes that I just mentioned, their interactions with most of the cards to be very efficient attacks. Uh, then I also have Scabskin Leathers. Um, these are just a nice way to block a little bit of extra damage and potentially uh, unlock some awkward hands if I need more than one action point. Also. So sometimes it's fun to just straight up lose the game. So, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> that's my plan. I have that uh, as an option. So I would like to straight up. Lose the game. Is that an option? <laughs> uh, I mean, it could be uh, explain your deck and well, we'll go from there. The deck I've brought today to straight up lose the game <laughs> is the uh, aforementioned Viscerai deck. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm playing um, kind of a combo hybrid, not truly OTK. Um, I am playing a few more defense reactions just to mitigate uh, some of the physical decks. So like the Benji's, the Ira's. Uh, and the other warrior decks, like Asai. Oh, this one's a brute. And the, <laughs> and the, and the Reiner and the yeah. Reiner deck. Um, yeah, I've also I am testing out a theory that the math behind 50-50 deck construction and viscerai uh, for the purpose of Sonata is incorrect mm -hmm. uh, because it kind of skews your uh, actual ratios on the turn you go for it because you've committed non-attack actions to make rune chance. So we'll see if I'm correct or if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below. It's worth testing. It is worth testing. Yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah, we're scientists. Yeah, exactly. Strictly empirical. <laughs> um, so to that end, uh, mm -hmm. I am playing. Uh, a Spellbound Creepers, because they're probably some of the best Runeblade uh, shoes Absolutely. in the game. Uh, Bloodsheath Skeleta, which is uh, paramount to what you need to do in order to execute the combo. Uh, Grasp of the Ark Knight. You can make an argument to play uh, Vex and Cool Hand over this. This has slightly more block for Reinar yeah. and a little more sustain. Uh, the two rune chants off of Vex and Cool Hands is nice, but it's it's more if you're going full all in. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing Rosetta Thorn, because it is the best uh, Runeblade weapon in the game. Uh, and no also, contest. I'm trying out something crazy out of left field, and I'm playing the Crown of Dichotomy so that I can buy back uh, an attack action and a non-attack action when I have an extra action point at the end of my turn and a resource, and not because I didn't bring my spellcap today. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because that, I didn't bring well, my you could rebuy. That could be more valuable than three block. Exactly. Uh, yeah. You're I mean, you get back two cards. That's six block. Exactly. That's it's double just what. Yeah. 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 It's just better. Six is higher than three. <laughs> that's uh, uh, math, dude. That's scientists. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, so I'm going first. I won the die roll, yes. and uh, as soon as Bill's ready, I'm going to try to kick him in the teeth. I am ready, and my teeth are not. <laughs> well, I'm going to start things off with a very aggressive uh, red rune flash, pitching oh, this uh, blue dread triptych uh, to pay for it. So it is coming in for four with go again. Just, just go again. Straight up. Just four. It just has go, go again. again. I'm going to block four or six uh, with this red savage feast and this red massacre. Oh, that's pretty good. For a total of six. All right, then... Uh, with my go again, I'm going to pitch this blue Malvrian Skies to activate Grasp of the Ark Knight to make a singular rune chant. Uh, and then I'm going to arsenal this card and pass. Okay. I'm going to start off my turn by casting this yellow barraging beatdown. Uh, so it'll give my next brute attack plus three as long as it's defended by less than two non-equipment cards. Uh, also, the other line on it is intimidate. Mm. So uh, grr, as grr. it as it were. As they say in the business, grr. Rawr. Which of my cards would you like to intimidate? They're not in a straight line. I don't know. It's this it's one, so because it's weird. Then I will attack with this Savage Feast, pitching this Command and Conquer. Uh, and as an additional cost to play it, I have to discard a random card. Uh, it is a card with six or more attack, uh, so I will be drawing a card off of the Savage Feast trigger. And I will also be intimidating you because of Rhinar. I'm so scared. You should be. This I'm one. <laughs> Uh, so currently, with the Barraging Beatdown, this is coming in for 9. If you block it with both cards from your hand, it is coming in for 6. I'm going to block with my Grasp and my Skeleta. So that way, I'm only going to take 5. Okay. Correct? Yeah. Did the math right? All yeah, right. you absolutely did. I'll take 5 and go to 15. Very good. Uh, I will be arsenaling the last card in my hand, and I will pass the turn over to you. I'm going to start my turn with this blue become the Arc Knight, and I'm going to pitch this blue dread triptych to go and get me a non-attack action from my deck. Sounds good. And with it, I will get this red Mordred Tide. That's a very good card. It is a very good card. Okay. I'm going to play it. Oh, no. Red Mordred Tide. It's Why? my second uh, rune blade action this turn it is. after playing a non-attack action, so I will make a rune chant. Then we're going to follow it up with this yellow Malvrian Skies from my arsenal. Uh, making two rune chants because of Morja Tide. Given my next attack action, rune blade attack action, go again. And if it hits, I will create two rune chant tokens. Yes, you will. To follow that up, we're coming in with a free Amplify the Arc Knight because I have four rune chants. It is the red one. So it's coming in for six and four rune chants. And because of Morja Tide and Viscerai, I'm going to make an additional two rune chants. Okay. Uh, has go again. If it hits, I'm going to make three more chants total. So uh, my hubris uh, has caught up to me slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will be taking the four rune chant damage. We did it. I'm not going to pitch. Uh, what is that? Uh, 15? No, 12. 12. I'm yeah. not going to pitch 12 resources uh, uh, to block four damage. You actually can't. Yeah. And I so wouldn't even if I could. Winning. Yeah. I wouldn't even if I could. Yeah. Uh, then for the Amplify, I will be blocking with this Barraging Beatdown, and uh, I'll just put my Skullcap and Leathers in front of it uh, to block for a total of six. Total of six? Yes. Sounds good. Uh, and with the go again, I will do my best to take advantage of this Mordred Tide, and I will play a yellow Read the Runes to make Oof. three more rune chants, going up to five total. Okay. Uh, uh, do you also make two off of Viscerai? Oh, and I do make two off yeah. of this ride. Oh, I forgot yeah. about that. You go to seven. Go to seven. Yeah, Mordred Tide is really Mordred good. Mordred Tide is really good. I keep forgetting about <laughs> uh, cards that actually make rune chants instead of this ride making rune chants. Well, I am going to be going for it, as uh, the spike feeders say. Um, or something like that. I, I only watch them with Korean subtitles. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to play the Sand Sketched plan, uh, which allows me to search my deck for a card, put it into my hand, then I discard a random card and shuffle my deck. And if the discarded card has six or more attack, I gain two action points. Oh, that's pretty good. It's not bad. And once I've searched my deck for a random card, I now have three in my hand, uh, and I will allow you and uh, implore you, actually, to choose one of them for me to discard. This one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, yes. it is the swing big. Uh, I swing do intimidate big. from Reinar. You do. Uh, and because the discarded card had six or more attack, I gain two, two action, action points. points. So I have a battle. What's interesting, it doesn't have go again. So yeah. like if you whiff on it, you get it's, nothing. Yeah, it's very bad. But I'm going to intimidate right. that one from you. It's gone. Yes. Then with that being done, uh, I'm going to cast this card from my arsenal, which is a Blood Rush Bellow. Uh, and I'm going to pitch this blue Wrecker Romp to pay for it. Uh, and then I have to discard a random card. Thankfully, I have one in my hand, and it is a beast within. Uh, so I do get to intimidate you. Um, because this was uh, discarded as an additional cost, 
Uh, I get to banish cards from the top of my deck until I banish a card with six or more attack. I lose one life for each card banished, and then I put the last card that I banished into my hand. Okay. Uh, so barraging beatdown, so I lose a life from that. And then barraging bighorn, uh, I do lose a life for that, but then that one goes into my hand. Okay. And I intimidate uh, this one. And now, uh, because the card that I discarded has six or more attack, I get to draw two cards from the Blood Rush Bellow, and the Blood Rush Bellow gains go again, and my Brood attacks have plus two attack for the rest of the turn. Hmm. My first attack in my flurry of attacks, uh, I'm going to attack you with this Mandible Claw with the two resources remaining that I had. Uh, so because I've discarded a card with six or more attack, it has go again, and it is currently coming in for five. Five with go again. Indeed. I'm going to block... With these for four. Grasp and a red rune flash for yeah. a total of four. So I'll take one. You got it. I am going to follow that up by pitching this uh, yellow barraging bighorn to attack you with my other claw for five again. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll take that five. Go to nine. Then I have some additional effects. I'm going to break my Goliath gauntlet to give my next attack with cost two or greater that I play this turn uh, plus two as well as break my heart and cross strap to make my next card, my next attack action card that I play this turn cost two resources less. Mm -hmm. uh, so with those in uh, effect, I'm going to attack you with this barraging bighorn, uh, which implores me to discard a random card, which is this one, which is another beast within. Uh, so now we play the wheel or we spin the wheel, another red barraging beatdown specifically, and a swing big. Interesting. Uh, so I lose two from those. I have the barraging, I have the swing big in my hand. Uh, I do intimidate uh, because I discarded the beast within. Uh, and uh, as long as this is defended by less than two non-equipment cards, it has go again. And okay. it's for eight. It's for eight. For eight. Go. I'm just going to take the eight. Okay. Because you have no resources and one card in hand. Which you know what it is. And I know what it is. Yeah. And that doesn't give you resources. It gives you action points. So mm -hmm. I will go to one. Okay. Uh, well, I will then... Uh, arsenal this card and hope I don't die to the crackback here. I mean, I hope you do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would. All right. Well, Bill tried to kill me on his last turn, mm -hmm, so I think I it's only fair that I try to kill him on my turn. Stop. <laughs> so I'm going to crack my Bloodsheath Skeletas no. to make my next attack action and non-attack action cost seven less. Please. <laughs> He's got a family. <laughs> uh, I am going to play a Sonata Arcanix, a uh, red Sonata Arcanix. Okay. Uh, X is going to equal Currently uh, three. Four, three. Yeah, because you have seven. Yes. Yeah. So three. Uh, and I'm going to pitch this red read the or yellow read the runes to sink one to make it an even four. Okay. Uh, so you'll so have be seven. One resource and floating. One resource floating. Seven. Sounds good. Uh, blue become the Arc Knight. Red Mordred Tide. Okay. Red, read the runes. With? Uh, red, reduce to rune chant. <gasps> red, read the runes. Red, sink below. And blue, Mavrian spies. There is no way. <laughs> hmm. There is no humanly way. Well. Okay. Um. Yeah. Seven cards. Yep. See... I know I've I've seen you with especially in games against me. I've seen you with a lot, but it was only on ones for three. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you whiff on one for more than three, especially not seven. Sincerest apologies. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to do now. We just like cut to the credits. <laughs>Okay, um, well, I will uh, elect to not take any of these cards into my hand and do zero arcane damage. So I'm going to put that there. That you're choosing to do I'm that. I'm choosing right? to do this. Yeah. I don't have to. There's nothing on the card that says I have to. <laughs> I'm, I'm making the choice. Yeah, of course. That's of the course. illusion of choice. Yeah. Well, this last card in my hand uh, does not do anything now, but mm. I do mm -hmm. have a resource floating. And I do have a sword. Oh, God. So I'm going to attack you for uh, two... No arcane, because okay. I only played a okay. uh, non-attack action. Then, uh, seven rune chants. Okay. Huh. Deal uh, with that, Reinar. So I don't have, uh, for no reasons whatsoever, I don't have a way to deal with those rune chants. Okay. Uh, so I will be taking seven damage. Huh. Um, and you know what? I'm very scared of uh, you and your aura in general. Uh, so I will block this Rosetta Thorn uh, for six 
Uh, I'm going to block it with this barraging beatdown, this yellow barraging beatdown, and this blue sand sketched plan. Mm. Uh, do you have any attack reactions? I do not. I have a defense reaction. I'm going to block uh, even more this attack for two. <laughs> not even more. Uh, and I'm going to defense react with this reckless swing. Uh, mm. As an additional cost to cast it, I'm going to discard a random card from my hand. And if it's a card with six or more attack, uh, you take two damage. It's a it's a wild ride. Doubt. Oh, you got me. Yeah. This is a game of cheat. I, I did, this is actually the Ace yeah. of Spades. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'll counter with my King of Hearts. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, okay. So I feel less bad about whiffing on that. I still yeah. feel great. But yeah. I was still um, going to uh, steal this game for you, like the little uh, game stealing goblin that I am. Um, that's fair. But that was still the most unreal Sonata whiff. I'm uh, deeply apologetic. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think there is much to say about that. That's just. I think every single, um, oh my god. Oh, I did shuffle. Yeah. But still, but this still, is like... Yeah. <laughs> I think every single Viscerai sure, player that is sure watching I this... Didn't take all the attacks. Did you, yeah, did deck. you just no, cut there. every single attack action? They're in there. absolutely there. You were like, Look I was playing that. around with the ratios and I feel like 100% yeah. non-attack <laughs> actions <laughs> is absolutely yeah. correct. That um, gives you the most amount of room chance. <laughs> Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, that is uh, sort of how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah, unfortunately, um, that's what happens when you gamble with the Skeletas. Yeah, when you dance with the devil and uh, I don't know. Something have... fiddle down in Georgia. Fiddle, fiddle DD. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, there really isn't much to say about that. We'll talk about no. it more in the post game wrap up. Uh, variance is, I think, what we can name this game, uh, just in yeah. general. Um, but uh, I do very much appreciate playing the game with you, of course, as always. As always. Uh, thank you so much for playing the entire gauntlet. Uh, Viscerai is yeah. a force and will continue to be, it seems. Um, and yes, thank you for playing. Thank you at home for watching, as always. Thank you for watching uh, all of the videos of this gauntlet series, I hope, please. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm being desperate, but uh, you know, just lay a, uh, an absolute barraging beat down on the subscribe button. And then become the Ark Knight. Yeah, this one actually worked. <laughs> Five games and we got there. F finally, finally, finally it happened. Uh, anyway, uh, we will see you in the next one. Stay well and stay safe. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.